and has the evening off. Tonight's top story comes from the Lowcountry, where the Beaufort County Council made a big decision firing the man who runs the county government. But the question that is still out there is why? WSAV's Andrew Davis joins us now with the latest. Well, why is the million dollar, actually $210,000 question? That's exactly how much Eric Greenway will not get in severance pay because the counter council has fired him for cause. But what that cause is may be the biggest question that so far hasn't been answered. Motion number one is a motion to terminate Eric Greenway with cause and to remove him from office of Buford County Administrator effective immediately. So moved, Mr. Chairman. Mr. McKellen makes the motion. I will second. Motion behind closed doors. And just four days after Eric Greenway was placed on administrative leave with pay by the same council. This all started with a complaint of misconduct that came to the Sheriff's Office and the 14th Circuit Solicitor's Office. Sheriff PJ Tanner and the 14th Circuit Solicitor Duffy Stone did feel there was enough to have someone who doesn't get any money from the County Council look into it. That complaint now being looked at by the Public Integrity Unit right in South Carolina's first solicitor district. Then, former employee Lisa Lynch, who was fired on Tuesday, she claims retaliation. She went in the next day, testified to counsel about months of sexual harassment, she says, by Greenway. I voted to terminate him for cause. This still is a personnel matter, and we are advised by our legal counsel that we cannot talk about it yet. We will talk about it when we are told we can. Now we do know the council already started a full review of all county purchases and contracts since the beginning of the year, but it won't say if that's part of this misconduct complaint against Greenway. John Robinson, the assistant county administrator of public safety, was officially named acting county administrator today. Now, once again, the biggest words you have to focus on are with cause. Because of that, Greenway's not due any severance pay or a buyout of any kind. The former administrator now has five days to file a lawsuit about that decision and appeal his firing. Now, we did try to contact various members of council, but they all say because it's a personnel decision and there's a definite possibility of a lawsuit, they're advised by lawyers not to say anything. Andrew Davis, WSCV News 3 on your side. Andrew, thank you.